Wilder here. Welcome back to my studio and welcome back to my 2019 holiday card series. I absolutely love bringing this to you. It is such a joy. And I'm going to elaborate on a card that I did yesterday and that would be this one right here. This card right here I did with the snowflake. I explained to you all about how to save paper and how beautiful this new um, sparkle paper that we have in the shop is. So make sure you head on over there and just kind of check it out. We are going to do some more with that same snowflake I absolutely love it all right so what we're gonna do now is we're going to take and um, bring in our cardstock so all I need for this one is a card base and um, a card layer and then just a scrap piece of paper to do this little snowflake I've already got the snowflake cut out here is what it looks like it's a very intricate snowflake but it is gorgeous make sure you check out yesterday's video and um, you're gonna see what we did with it and how to get it out of the um, die um, very easily okay so let's just show you the um, the the idea behind the back of this so this right here started out as a, a, a white sheet of paper it's really absolutely gorgeous the way we're gonna do this we're gonna use our distressed oxide inks um, this one is the festive berries, but I am going to take and use our um, chipped out oxide today. All right, I'm going to bring in one of my um, picket fence brushes. And also I'm going to do, well, let's do this first. Let's take and remove this because it's easier to clean up on my, my silicone mat here. All right, so we're gonna take this layer right here, we're gonna take our Distressed Oxide ink, we're gonna take and we're going to burnish it. If you don't know what burnishing is, it's not just dabbing or, or just kind of blotting, it is actually burnishing in the color. So I'm gonna start here on the side and I am going to just bring it in and as I go into the middle, I'm just gonna go lighter and lighter and lighter. I'm just gonna keep picking up my ink and burnishing this is what burnishing is all about you see how there's no lines there's no um, white showing through this is just absolutely beautiful and the distressed oxide inks give you a very um, chalky color or a chalky feel to them they're just beautiful to work with and I'm using my my picket fence brush all found in the shop so head on over to Teaspoon of Fun, all the links are below, and you're gonna see how easy it is to get all the ingredients for this card. All right, so I'm just making sure that everything is nice and even, and then just lightening it up in the middle. And you're gonna see when I go back and do the outside of it, you're gonna see I'm gonna do the, the edges one more time at the very end, but it really doesn't take any time at all. Doing the burnishing, you can't go wrong. It just makes it look so, so, so pretty. And you see how I'm just gonna lighten it up in the middle? Dark on the outside and lighter in the middle. Giving it that starry night look. All right, now this is where I was talking to. I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna make sure I've got my, my sides right here done really nice and dark. And that's exactly what I did on the festive berry one. I just did the exact same thing and you can see the white in the middle. Look at the blending on this. That is the beauty of these distressed oxide, these distressed oxide inks. They're just absolutely gorgeous. All right, let me just take and wipe this up and bring back my teaspoon of fun mat here. And I will show you how to put this little guy together. All right, so we've got our base card. I'll bring in this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm fighting a cold here. Um, and we're going to bring in our, um, I'm going to bring in my regular um, foam squares. Okay. We have thick, we have thin, we have black, and we have white. So we're going to bring those in and just put them in the corners. And you know, I always stress the square ones are the best because your corners are square, all right? I can't stress that enough because you can, you can peek in on the side 
and see that you've got an odd shaped foam square. All right, so let's just take these off. Now you don't have to take off all of these. Um, I do take off the ones in the corner, but the other ones are just uh, placeholders. All right, there we go. All right, so that's gonna get put right here in the middle. Look at how fast this card is, but look at how gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous it is. Ta-da, okay, so far so good. Remember, we've got this one and we've got this one. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and pop this little guy up. Look at how pretty that is. Doesn't that look so nice? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my foam squares and this time I'm gonna use my thin ones. So I don't know if you can see it on camera, but let me show you the difference between the two of them. All right, so we have the thin ones and then we have the thick ones. Do you see the difference between the two of them? And the reason we use the thin ones, okay, is because if you have too much layering, you're gonna end up with more postage and it's gonna be too thick um, to put into your envelopes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the little guys and I'm just gonna, actually, I think I'll cut them in half. All right, so they are little guys, but they're the thin ones so I don't add too much layering. There we go. And I think I'll do a couple more right here. So I've got one over here. Okay, so it'll be raised, but not too much. All right, and let's just do Uh, let's see, how about right here? And one on the other side, right over here. Okay, and the rest of it, we want it to be freestanding so that um, it kind of it kind of gives it more dimension. All right, let's just take off the backs of these. You can find these in the shop also. Look at that, so, so pretty. All right, so we're gonna make this one go this way. Okay, see that dimension, isn't that pretty? Oh, so, so pretty. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to take and do our winter wishes, and I just save all my little scrap paper. So I'm just gonna take this, grab my, um, am I doing winter wishes? Yes, I'm doing winter wishes, and that is from a set that's in the shop called Mary Up. It is um, got some beautiful little sentiments, but I like the, the ones that are very tiny, um, but they're just really very appropriate for this time of the year. All right. It doesn't have to be holiday-ish. It can be, it can be snowy. It can be Christmas. It can be um, just, uh, just a bunch of different things. Just really very, very pretty. And then I'm going to take my, uh, I think I'll take my Distressed and do it in, in the blue. Gorgeous. Okay, let's clean that right off. There we go. Alrighty, and now I'm just going to take my scissors and make myself a little banner. Alright, so you cut in the middle and cut each side to the middle. Same on here, just cut up the middle and cut each side to the middle. Okay, so there's our winter wishes. We're gonna pop that and I think we'll do that with one of our thin ones. So I've got thin, large and thin, and thin small. And the other thing I love is to let's put this right here. See, it's raised, but not too much. Let's get it straight here. There we go. 
All right, and now what we're gonna do is to just finish it up with some of our drops, all right? So what I'm doing is grabbing my, um, this is steel blue, and um, for this one right here, I used the strawberry, and these are our translucent drops, and what that does is it picks up the color of what you're putting it on. So this one right here is gonna pick up more of the blue, okay, and you can make them as big or as little as you want, I could have put white ones on here to make it look like snow. And what you do is just press it on and lift it straight up. The little point right there will actually flatten down and it'll look like a beautiful little drop. And you can put as many of these on as you want because you've got a whole barrel of them right here. All right, so those are our blue drops. And then for the inside of the snowflake, my favorite one is this one right here and it is in the shop, all right? I use this one all the time. All right, so we'll do a bigger one for this one, medium size for this one, okay? Remember to just lay it down and bring it straight up. And there's a little baby one for that one. And then we just let them dry. It doesn't take that long to dry. It just depends on how big they are and how fat you put them on. But look at how pretty that card is. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Ah, I think I'm gonna do one more thing though. I'm going to take my brush, I'm gonna bring in my palette, add a little bit of water to it, and I'm bringing in some of my magical shakers. Put a little bit over here. A little bit goes a very, very long way. This is the white, all right? I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to this. And tap it in and make it look a little bit more like snowflakes. Ah, pretty, 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 pretty. There we go. You can get crazy with this. There we go. I just love the way these came out. I would love to have you let me know how you like doing these. Um, if you have any questions, you let us know. Vicki and I are always here to help. And um, like I said, we love having you follow us for our 2019 card collection. You take care. Have a great day. And thank you for stopping by.